I walk to the gym in the morning, about five. I usually wake up about 4 a.m., get myself ready, take a shower, and I head to the gym. And one of my favorite parts of the morning is my walk to the gym, which includes a, a walk through the jungle where I live. There's a, a road, my driveway, that I have to go on, and of course, I need a, a little light to get through here because you don't know what's on the path. We have snakes here, we have various creatures that could be along the way, so it's good to have a light. It's impossible without a light, actually. Now the GoPro doesn't do the greatest job at capturing low light conditions, but my purpose of this video is to let you hear the sounds of the morning. The sounds of the morning here are just absolutely uh, fantastic. So what you can hear now, if you listen carefully, you can maybe hear a, a howler monkey in the background. But the loud noise is the Chilean coca, like oh, it's a wood rail that makes that uh, loud, loud bird noise that you're hearing. And going to the gym has become a, a very important part of my day, a really important part of my routine. I get it, I get the gym in early, and you know the rest of the day I've. I've already had my little jump start of going to the gym. And when you move to a new place, especially like a whole new country, you do get your give yourself a chance for a reboot. And starting good habits like going to the gym is a great thing to do. And it just so happens we've got a really great gym here in Ovita. Uh, called Atlantis. It's it's right near the intersection where the BCR bank is and in, in near Cebu. So I, as I've said many times, I really enjoy the morning and a big part of the morning is just the, the waking up sounds of the you know the creatures of the jungle. And one morning, walking on this very road, right where I am now, I encountered a boa that was so big it was from one end of the road to the other, and it was it was exactly straight across the uh, the road. So I shined my light on him, and he, he was just kind of hanging out there. So I I, I tiptoed towards his tail. And I uh, just kind of eased past him there. I figured that was the safest place to go. But he literally covered one end of the road to the other. And then after I, I crossed, I, I shined a light on him and made his way back into the jungle. I was a little shocked to see him. He was pretty big. But there are snakes on this road, so I wasn't that surprised. So typically I go to the gym anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours, depending on the day.
It's also interesting walking along Calle Uvito at this time of day. You've got shopkeepers just opening their store, like the the pulperia here on the right. And a pulperia is a it's basically a convenience store. They call it a pulperia here. And here on the left, we've got a panaderia that opens very early. So if you ever need a cup of coffee at 5 a.m., that's your place. And you can hear a little bit of Mono Congo action in the background. You can hear some howler monkeys here walking down the street. And I am walking down the street. It's less of a chance to step on dog poop or something. So I, I walk on the street, there's not much traffic. And if traffic does come, I step out of the way. So it is interesting walking through my neighborhood at this time of the morning. And actually right now it's a little bit lighter than it, it has been because the days are getting longer. Even though here in Costa Rica you don't have the extremes like I had back in New York State, it does, it does tend to get lighter in the morning this time of year. December is the darkest month and as we go along into June it gets lighter in the morning like this. So yes, my neighborhood is very interesting this time of the morning. So the gym here, Atlantis, has a lot of different pieces of equipment to train on. It's a really great gym. They've had an expansion recently. I highly recommend this gym if you're in the neighborhood or if you're just looking for a place to uh, sign up.
Well, it's 6 a.m. I got my workout in. It's time to head back home. Thanks for joining me on my, my trip here to the gym. And if you are coming to Uvita and you'd like to do my Uvita Day adventure, go to CostaRicaMove.com for more information about that. I love this. That's all I've got for this edition of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, share this video and this channel with a friend. Hasta luego.